Hey, Water Signs, and welcome to the channel. This is your Monday, October 1st, Love Outlook. I can't believe it's October already, but welcome. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. In that order. All right. One shuffle, and we'll be ready to go. All right, your guys' overall crowning energy is the Six of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. Nice. Going to be a good day for our water signs. Cancer, you guys have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Pisces, you guys have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And Scorpio, the Nine of Cups in reverse. All right. Let me get a clarifying deck here. Okay, so water signs. You guys um, are leaving a relationship that uh, that no longer made you happy. Um, you are going to leave a situation, a relationship, or, or you're waiting for somebody to do this. Um, to follow your heart, to be with a person that you feel emotionally is your other half. Um, and you will be successful at finding this person. Um, cancer, you guys are ending a, um, a cycle. You've made it through. Um, you're just about there. You're, you're going to take the uh, relationship, take your lessons and move forward because this is not what you had hoped. This is not what you want. Um, and you may have held on, you know, longer than what you should, but it is what it is. But you're seeing now that, you know, just because possibly you have children with this person doesn't mean you have to stay with them for forever. You're going to follow your heart. All right. Cancer men. Thank you. Cancer females. Thank you. All right. So, um, cancer males, you most definitely are manifesting, um, your true love, uh, towards you, um, could be somebody from a past life, but you are going to be successful. You have all the tools and you know it, you are just about there. You're about ready to put this down and walk away. Um, cancer females, you're having to deal with a little bit of your karma and your shadow side, uh, it's time to go within and reflect and see why this relationship didn't work out and what you can do different the next time around. And when you do that, when you confront your um, shadow side and fix whatever it is there that is not working for you, then you will be able to move into the relationship that is right for you as well. Um, for some of you, you're going to repair a relationship that you're currently in because this is a soulmate um, energy that is around you. But it's time to put this cycle to end. It's time to start a new one. So I do see you guys uh, being successful in that. Pisces, you guys um, are getting impatient, waiting for a soulmate that has left. Um, continue to keep working on yourself. I hear weed your garden. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh Pisces, man, you are definitely impatient. Um, seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Uh, continue to put in the work. Continue to um, fight for what you want, but never stop working on yourself. Like I said, weed your own garden. Purge the people that, and situations that no longer serve. And, um, and just patiently, uh, just be patient. This person is coming back, and they're worth the wait. Um this, per, this relationship is going to be very successful, but you both have to heal before it can find this kind of success. Because right now you both um, are, uh, you're emotionally drained. Pisces females, you guys have the page of pentacles. So you are waiting to hear from an earth sign um, about a relationship. You could be waiting for them to leave somebody. Um, this message is going to come in. You just have to be patient. It takes time for them to um, move forward. And I know... You guys have been patient a lot already, but, um, you know, something, 
this great can't be created overnight. You have to take your time, but um, no fear. This person is coming in for you, Pisces, um, in the next six weeks. All right. Scorpios. Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Swords uh, just popped out. I'm not going to take it because I didn't call for it yet, but just as a side note. So you guys, um, you are feeling a little bummed out. <clears throat> Some of you could be overindulging in um, drinking or substances to numb the pain, to dull the sharpness of the sword um, because of a soulmate or who you felt was a soulmate um, leaving or you leaving that person. Scorpio men, Scorpio female. Okay, so um, yeah, Scorpio men, you guys have a new life waiting for you, a new beginning that's right around the corner, but you have to get your emotions in check. You have to um, find your center again, your emotional center. Um, yeah, I'm hearing talk the talk and walk the walk, but um, this new beginning is here. You just have to heal from this this. Um, relationship that really shook you to the core. And when you do, then you can manifest this, um, this perfect match for you energy. Um, Scorpio female, somebody in your life uh, is the one that is overindulging. Uh, this person is hiding the truth about their, um, I don't want to call it an addiction because I don't feel it is an addiction. I feel this is simply um, them trying to numb the pain of this recent uh, breakup. So, uh, but they are going to come forward and they will tell you the truth of what is going on. So, um, yeah. And you're going to then figure out where it all went wrong. Um, both of you will have to heal from this. Um, but when you do, you will find success and you will move forward for the Scorpio females. I do feel this is a relationship you're currently in or just recently, um, ended, they are coming back uh, and you will be able to heal together and be successful in moving forward. All right. Our water signs. Well, that was quick. You guys have the eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity and the resting tree. Patience and stillness, which for you, uh, Pisces, is most important. So um, with the eyes of beauty, they show up as your ally. It requires you to examine your perceptions. Do you see the world as perfect and beautiful? Um, can you retrace your steps from your past to now and see the perfection in what you have really created? Truly, perception is everything. A glass half empty is the same as a glass half full, yet so different according to how it's perceived. The eyes of beauty reminds you that, it, that if you move forward with conviction, all is well now and always will be. You will see the true prosperity as a result. Expect to see beauty and you will attract your highest good. And the resting tree in reverse. So when this comes to you as a challenger, um, it asks you to consider if, you, if you're so frenetic that all you can think about is how stressed you are. Running around and overdoing anything only makes you into a human doing, not a human being. This is a sign to be careful or you may become physically ill or at the very least unable to enjoy your life. Be still. It's time to meditate and take time out or you'll make some mistakes that you may regret later. Don't worry. All those things that are trying to manage will still be there when you're ready to move forward again. Only then will you have a clearer head in which you can think. So yeah, most definitely um, for you Pisces and for all of you actually, but um, very strong in the Pisces reading today. So, all right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday and I will see you next time. God bless.